Our movie starts with a girl named Flora, who talks about her love for superhero movies, how she enjoys reading related magazines, and how she loves comic books. She mentions that her father invented a perfect superhero character named Incandesto. She says that all superheroes, no matter how different they are, agree on one thing. They don't reveal themselves in the real world. We see her sitting with a man selling her comic books because her mother wants her to, saying she's grown up and should read appropriate things for her age. We know that her mom, Phyllis, was a romance writer who used to be successful until Flora's dad left them, after which Phyllis stopped writing. Later, Flora sees her neighbor chasing her broom because she refuses to stop and is going all over the garden. Flora goes out to to help her until the broom hits a tree with a squirrel on it. The squirrel falls and the broom, still moving, steps on it, causing it to break and stop Flora. Flora rescues the squirrel, revives it, and names it Ulysses after the broom's brand. She decides to take care of it. Inside her house, Flora is shocked to find her mom has thrown away a table with her dad's drawing because he couldn't publish any of the stories he drew despite her constant encouragement, ending up leaving and abandoning his family. Flora takes Ulysses and hides him in her room so her mom won't throw him away. Later, we see Flora's dad working in a store after giving up on his dream. Flora visits him and tells him about the squirrel she saved and that she came to buy him food and nuts. She also tells him she found a new publishing company so she can publish his incandesto story online. But her dad isn't enthusiastic about her plans, says goodbye and leaves to go back to work. Flora returns home, shares the nuts with Ulysses, and they become friends. She also starts enjoying her dad's Incandesto comic magazine, watching it as if she understood it completely. Afterwards, Flora goes downstairs to have dinner, and her mom informs her that there will be an article published about her new book. When her mom asks her to go out together tomorrow to the market, Flora refuses. At night, Ulysses was hungry and started nibbling on the magazine, but he couldn't swallow it. He then goes to look for food and ends up at Flora's mom's typewriter where he starts typing. The next day, Phyllis calls Flora, thinking she was the one who typed on her typewriter. But Flora understands from her mom's words that it was Ulysses who wrote that, realizing that he is indeed a superhero squirrel. Flora takes the paper and asks Ulysses if he wrote it, and he nods, confirming it. Flora is amazed and asks him if he can speak, and he starts making noises like a squirrel. She realizes that the vacuum cleaner made him a superhero. Then she brings her dad's stories and talks to Ulysses about superheroes. Shortly after, there's a knock on their door and Flora opens it thinking it's her dad, but it turns out to be their neighbor bringing pastries along with her blind nephew William, who will spend the whole summer vacation with them. William senses everything around him and feels there is someone else in the house. Phyllis notices the squirrel. Flora gets worried about Ulysses and before her mom hits him, she takes him outside and assures him she'll protect him. Then William talks to her, surprised that she's talking to a squirrel. Flora explains that Ulysses is a superhero squirrel and shows him to William, who starts writing understandable words. Then Flora's dad arrives and her mom tells him that the squirrel must leave because it might transmit diseases. Her dad takes her and the squirrel outside, convincing her she needs to get rid of it. However, she refuses and tells him that the squirrel has superpowers but he doesn't believe her, saying superheroes only exist in stories. They go to eat donuts and the waitress notices the squirrel, which causes chaos as Ulysses starts flying around the store. When George, Flora's dad, sees a squirrel in action, he finally believes it's extraordinary and everyone is amazed. After the incident, they leave the store and George decides to take Flora and Ulysses home. On the way, he tells Flora that he can't believe what he saw and decides to take Ulysses with them. When they arrive home, George warns Flora about a vicious cat in the neighborhood and advises her to be careful. Indeed, when the cat attacks them, they manage to enter the building before it reaches them. Later, a policeman who knows about the incident from the waitress arrives to deal with the squirrel in the store. Then we see Flora George taking Ulysses to a doctor to examine it. The doctor says Ulysses is fine and that he has the ability to understand normal language. They return to the policeman who now understands exactly what happened in the store and assures them that he will take care of the squirrel to protect the town. After that, George takes Flora to her mom's house and tells her to hide the squirrel from her room so she won't get rid of him. Flora tries to hide him and spends quality time with him, becoming his closest friend. At night, the policeman is seen thinking about how to catch a squirrel, revealing that he lost his rank before because he couldn't catch a squirrel and that he has despised them ever since. The next day, we see William sitting with Flora in the treehouse along with a squirrel. Afterwards, William gets up and walks, telling Flora that he didn't expect the squirrel to have superpowers. Suddenly, he 
falls because the wooden floor is weak, but the squirrel saves him before he falls into the garden. We know for sure now that the squirrel has superpowers because he was able to save William before he fell. Then they go to a comic book store and start looking for anything to train animals to be superheroes, but the store owner scolds them and is annoyed by Flora's intense love for superheroes. At that moment, they hear on the news that there's a squirrel in the city with rabies that needs to be captured. Flora goes to her dad to ask for his help. George resigns from his job to go with Flora. They go to their house and start thinking about where the squirrel will go. Meanwhile, the policeman was watching the store's security footage and he found his car, identifying his location. He goes to George's house, then Flora takes the squirrel and tries to hide it before the policeman enters. George says that he doesn't know anything about the squirrel and thinks it's probably dead by now. At that moment, the vicious cat attacked the policeman, causing him to run from the building and catch the cat in a box. But before the policeman leaves, he sees Flora, George, and the squirrel and chases them in his car to catch the squirrel. However, they manage to escape and return to Flora's house. Dear Felice has another job interview related to her new book and is very scared because she still doesn't have any ideas, afraid the book will fail. George reassures her and encourages her, saying he will help her on one condition that the squirrel stay with them in the treehouse. George stays with them in the house and actually helps Felice come up with new ideas for her book. The next day, the interview is at Felice's house and it turns out the author is not impressed with Felice's writing and underestimates her work. George tries to support her in front of the author but it is all in vain. Phyllis becomes very upset and asks George to leave. An article about Phyllis is published, stating that she can finish her book. The policeman sees the article and also sees a picture of Phyllis with George. He understands that George and the squirrel are at his wife's house and decides to arrest him. When Phyllis sees the news, she breaks down. So she goes to the squirrel and starts talking to him, complaining. The squirrel actually understands her and she takes him home and keeps him with her. After a while, the policeman arrives and, after a chase with the squirrel, manages to capture it and put it in the box, taking it away. At that moment, Flora breaks down, so her family tries to calm her down and her dad decides to help the squirrel escape. He starts chasing the policeman and William helps them, showing that the relationship between Phyllis and George is starting to improve. After that, they go to the animal shelter while hiding in the neighbor's car trunk. William manages to enter the shelter through the ventilation opening to open the door for them. Once inside, everyone's attention turns to William because he feels better now and the tension has eased. Suddenly, they all have to run because they spot an animal and rush into the veterinarian's area, lying to them that George is here because he wants a dog. At that moment, the policeman sees them and reports them on the radio, trying to catch them along with his colleagues before they steal the squirrel. They indeed reach the squirrel, but before they can grab it, the policeman arrives. However, Flora throws squirrel food at him to distract him. Then George manages to get Ulysses out and escapes with him. The policeman tries to catch George, but he can, so he injects him with an anesthetic, causing his leg to become numb. When he escapes, he can walk properly and falls from a building's fence because his leg is numb. But before George hits the ground, the squirrel saves him. After that, they take Ulysses to the forest to live his natural life. George turns all this into a comic book story which becomes a huge success. Flora regains her childlike hope and optimism, with Ulysses unintentionally playing a role in reuniting her parents and William even regaining his sight. The family reunites, living peacefully. And that's it! If you like this recap, hit like, share, and subscribe to our channel to keep seeing content like this one. If you have any requests or thoughts, drop them below in the comment section and we will see you at the next one. Peace!